right now, one of the three things they're talking about in the Capitol is the future of public safety in Florida. Mm. So your actual presence here is making a statement. I had an opportunity to speak, which was really empowering. Gave me a chance to tell my story and how I feel about what survivors are going through and experiencing here in the state of Florida. For the first time, I publicly was able to sit with people like myself in a room and people that wanted to hear what survivors had to say. I call it the eyeball effect. They have to look at you, they have to hear you, see you. When you go into a committee room and they're discussing things that are going to impact your life, they have to look at you. And that is very powerful. We had some training, which really prepared me, put me right on target, that I went in to see my state representative. And that's why I think this movement, and that's why we're laying the framework and we're trying to step out on faith. Uh, one of the main models of it was the Trauma Recovery Center. Mm -hmm. Our state representative spent at least 45 minutes with us. She opened up about her own loss, about her own need for mental health. So that was just like a mind blower for me. It was so dynamic. Too many Floridians go without access to support and help, and too many Floridians don't have protection from harm. We know what communities need to be healthy and safe. We already know so many of the drivers of crime. The real question is, are we spending the state's public safety resources in the best way? Survivor Speak is just the beginning. We are developing chapters across the state. So let's heal through action, but let's keep on building, organizing, and changing policy. When my child died, my homicide detective, the state attorney, everybody else was telling my story about what happened to me and my son. But today, I got a chance to tell my story. Survivor Speak was born out of this truth, this truth that we are more than our story. We are more than our experiences. But Florida, our stories have the power to change policy and to change this entire justice system. Is that where y'all thought y'all were coming today, right? To bring some healing to Tallahassee? Is that where y'all thought y'all were coming today? Yes. To bring healing to action? Yes. Well, you're in the right place. And if we be prepared like we were today, and we go in with that right message, we go in with the right attitude, just telling our stories, we can win everybody up here in this house, everybody. So I'm excited and I'm looking forward to doing more work, not just next year, but I'm looking forward to all year long.